Cool. So in this lesson, we're going to cover the basic panels, windows and things that you will want to be aware of when first opening up a file in Figma and getting yourself oriented. So what we'll cover is the layers panel, the pages panel, the design, prototype and inspect panels, as well as where your default tools and things will be located. So in here, when you open up a Figma window and you open up any file or even when you don't open a file, you'll see a little plus icon in the top and you'll see this page, uh, which is handy when you want to pick between a design file and a FigJam file. So we'll open up a new design file here and get you oriented to the different windows and where everything is located. So as you can see, when you first open, there's not too much happening. You've got the main stage in the center. So this is where you'll do most of your design work. You've got the layers panel here open by default on the left. So all the important stuff you want to be aware of uh, and, and manage will be there. So as I create some basic things, you'll see the different layers will pop up here uh, in the layers panel. What you'll see is that the pages panel isn't open by default. So I usually have this open myself. And as my file starts to get larger and when I want to be organized working with others, this is what I'll open up. And you can create pages here uh, pretty straightforward. The other panels that you'll want to be aware of are over here on the right side as well. So if I create a simple rectangle, you'll see that the design panel opens up a few different options about its location, uh, the size, and a few different customizations you can do. And this design panel changes depending on what type of layer that you've got open. So you can see here with the text layer, I've got the different things I can open up and edit uh, from a text point of view. The other panels that you'll see is that when I create a simple frame, so this is when I want to create a prototype and create some flows to create a clickable prototype, this is where I'll need to be. So you can create some flow starting points depending on which frame that you've got, set up the interactions from different frames or from different layers. So you can create a, an interaction from these things, but they have, uh, you, yeah, you can create a, a, an interaction from these things. And then what else you'll see is the inspect panel on the right hand side. So this produces some auto generated properties and colors. So I don't use these personally myself too much, but your devs or the devs that you work with may use these themselves. And you can see some, some basic auto generated code that may come in handy. So the two other things I do want to bring to your attention, or well, three actually, is uh, first is the background. Uh, so you can change the color of the background if that's too light for you. You want to work on a darker background. Let's say you're more comfortable with that. So that's usually a, a nice to have if you're interested in changing that up. But I like to just leave it as the default. Second is the, the local styles. That's what I wanted to share with you. So I've created a rectangle here and let's change this color to something random like lime green. And once you've created that uh, color, we can add it to our local library uh, by doing this. So lime green, let's call it. And what that does is adds it to your local styles. So there's a bunch of different things that you can add, uh, text, colors, effects, uh, and grid styles that you may want to use to help you create your designs and your prototypes. Over up here in the top is the last thing I, well, the second last thing, actually, before I go over that, the second, the last thing I do want to share, second last thing I want to share with you is this thing up here. So you'll be able to see where your file is located and rename it. So my, my first file, and you'll get a few different options from here uh, to be able to move to a different project, favorite your file, duplicate it if you want to, uh, and publish a library. So when you start working with design systems, that's something you may uh, want to, to use. And then the very last thing to, to share and cover with you is all of your main tools will be up here. So these are deceptively simple. There's not that many tools compared to if you're a bit old school and you've used Photoshop back in the day, there's a huge panel of different tools that you can use. So in the next lesson, we'll go over these tools, how to use them and how to get the best out of them.